right, so you just move on. That's why plants are in jello. So we're heading on to Rockport. It's our blessed adventure. It's our blessed adventure. Be all even means, so we'll be learning. Well, that's good. Um, Holiday Beaches tour is something. Is that your car? Yeah, the orange Jeep. Yeah, yes, yeah. you must like orange. You got orange shoes on, orange shirt on. <laughs> I do, I do. Would you like to explain her gift book for you? Checking out the murals in the town, trying to find my greetings from. And we found the sign and greetings from, but you know, I'm not sure if this is, it might be, I don't know if it's one of their original signs, but anyhow, we found one. So it is a nice little town, downtown, as you can see, small little quaint place. Not super big, but very neat. So you can see straight down. These are beautiful. Matches Karen's shirt. Can you see both windows? After taking a look around the quaint town of Rockport, we decided to get a little dinner. We're at dinner at Charlotte Plumbers up here on the deck. Very nice. Out looking on the bay. And I'm sure you probably can't hear a word I'm saying. Oh, there goes the beautiful bird flying away. Is he afraid living on the boat? There's a white pelican. I got close enough to get his picture. Wow, they are so neat. I think I'm gonna get into bird watching. I'm enjoying finding different birds. These are called wind-swept live oak trees and they're all leaning that way because of the winds from there. And then during nesting season, all the bunch of the herons, as you can see some of them up there, this is where they nest. It would be pretty neat to see some babies, but I don't know if this is the time for it, but at least you can see. But I thought that was just pretty interesting how those trees all permanently lean like that. So leaving Rockport, 
nice little quaint town. Really enjoyed Rockport. Um, I, I was just expecting, I guess, for it to be bigger, but um, it was smaller than what I thought, but that's okay. It was, I really enjoyed it. And that Walmart that we just pulled out of, I meant to get video. When, we, when you pull in that Walmart, they have a sign, RV Park, and direct you to the side of that Walmart. And they have, I didn't even count how many spaces. Did you count how many spaces they have? No, but I would say it's probably 10 or 12, a dozen or so. Probably about a dozen spaces. Yeah, that's down about right. And they're about 80 feet long. Perfect for you just to pull in there. Several, they also, a uh, lot of truck truckers use it, seems like, to park, but still, it was, it, it is just fantastic. So, if you need an overnight stay, we ended up staying two nights, um, but it was perfect. Now, we're on to Magnolia Beach. Take the first lunch. Huh? I wonder if I should have turned back there. She told us we the street. I, you know what? I think it's the same. And I, you know what, I almost said, I wonder if it'd be busy because it's still family spring break vibe. It's nice to have our viewers um, following their blog or checking blogs out type in just like Magnolia Beach and came up with a couple people gave you exact directions just like she told us about this bridge and that's why we like to document too to, to help other people and to show um, where you can camp or what we're doing and I wondered if it'd be kind of busy right now because of it um, being family spring break time, I guess I should say high school, elementary, middle school time. I think, I think we're past the college spring break time. Yeah, right those here. little places live there. Wow. I don't know what that is up there. Is very interesting. Very interesting. Wow, look at the bus up there. Keep your eye out over there just in case. We're going to drive all the way down in case the place you see it looks good. Said. She said to okay. kind of look where you might want to park and to pull in down here, where right here where the pink pavilion is. So we appreciated that um, help 
beautiful here because it did give us a view of the whole beach. It's not super big here. Once again, this is Magnolia Beach. She says all the way down? No, she said when you first see the... There's some people parking on that boat for me. They, she yeah. said that you can. The pavilions are open for you to park in front they're of all, They're all pretty much snatched up. Yeah. I mean, there's one there. One well, I'm there, saying over right? there. They're pretty much taken up. Yeah. And I. Way I do believe you can stay 14 days here. We don't have that kind of time, which we kind of did, but um, in order to us to get everything accomplished, we would like to see in Texas before going back to Ohio, we're gonna have to keep pushing along. We'll maybe stay here a couple days. By that on that other side, that bus was all I believe I saw. There was no spaces down there. So okay. I guess we could do that. There, what, right here? You want to do that? That's fine with me. They don't have to pull on the other side of that car. Well, they won't like that. But we could do right here. And both of us fit in there. After surveying the beach, we decided we'd head back down to the first spot we picked out when we pulled on the beach. So we uh, flipped around and headed back to that spot. That's cool. You get the truck out the way. Oh, you're good. the water and here we are another beach camping this is so neat that you can do this and I'm sure Karen and David are gonna be trying to do some little fishing like those people out there Karen and Glenn are right over there right beside us so Taking a walk down the beach and see all the campers in the evening. Trying to catch some mullet bait. how this goes. Got some rocks.
more shells. Oh, he got one. Oh, he got one. Caught him in a little mullet. Caught me a little finger mullet. A little bait fish. Since Karen's taking up fishing, she wanted to try to catch some bait too. So she's going to try her hand at the cast net. David's giving her a little instruction first. Guy over there is trying to catch some too. There she goes. Yep, you gotta give it a nice swirl. Well, not bad. Not bad. Good. Well, this time he caught a blue crab. Where'd he go? He went back in the water. With those guys. Good buddy. setting and David is still at it. David is still at it at this beautiful sunset hour. There's the RVs. Went to bed to a beautiful sunset and woke up the next morning to a beautiful sunrise. And then we headed out to check out the surrounding area. Lighthouse. It was moved for, from seven miles down the road. It's different with the octagon shape. But I guess they consider because it's that, that close to water over there.
close by to people. They don't get that close to it. Yeah, they keep that in this painting. The deck. Yeah, I've finally that. seen a Bucky's. Something I've been looking for since we got to Texas. Because everyone said you must go to Bucky's. So it's a little Bucky's, but that's okay. We're going to get out and check it out anyhow. Look for some Bucky bites, I think they said to look for. They even have fresh coffee 24 7. Plus, the diesel's not bad, so we could pull in over on the other side and get gas in the RVs when we need. So we'll see what we find in this Bucky's. Yep, this is. Oh, name brand. Okay, this is the jerky they were talking about. They said the jerky is really, really good. And then we'll see if we can find the Bucky Beaver bites they were talking about. Yeah, everything's. Cajun boil. Wow. Where is my Bucky Bites? Beaver Nuggets. That's what they are. And they have all flavors. So we decided on the Beaver Nuggets and sweet and spicy beef jerky and the beaver nuggets white cheddar so we'll have a taste testing here after all this hoopla about it and see what karen got came out with bucky's sea salt caramel and we have yep. Bucky's Hill Country Blend Teriyaki Beef Jerky. All right. Taste testing will begin. So, David just put it, the beef jerky. He's starting with that. What do you think? It smells. It has a wonderful aroma. I'll tell you that much. Can you try And Glenn just tried. He's going, mmm, with the teriyaki. Mm -hmm. David's still, I think, got the... The jury's still out. Jerry's still out on, on his. Well, that's got a good flavor. It's pretty good, though. So I'm not a beef jerky fan at all, but I'm being really forced to try it. So now the famous beaver nuggets. Very interesting. I can't explain it. It's in between popcorn and got like a cheese puff texture. Cheese puff texture. take up bird watching. I'm really enjoying this and enjoying the birds. Our dryer belt broke. David took it out. And 
we ordered the belt while we were on the road and they were able to ship it to one of those Amazon lockers, which that is so nice. Ran and got it in the town close to us. And now hey, David got a fix and we're putting, he's, Glenn's helping him put it back in. So we'll be back in business. Oh, I didn't have it. Can we come more that way or do you do it like that? Right there. While we were sitting here, this, they brought this young man out in a wheelchair that they can take down inside the water. That is so neat. He was enjoying it so much. I think it's so neat. He was flying a kite. Oh, where's it at? Right there. <laughs> Along with the people out enjoying the beach and fishing, we also got to see a few of the big ships that came by while we were camping at Magnolia Beach. Um, we also got to see a big tugboat and, you know, the people out on jet skis enjoying the water. We had a wonderful time while we were at Magnolia Beach, but of course, all good things had to come to an end. So. This was the end of another beautiful day at Magnolia Beach and another beautiful camping experience. It's our blessed adventure. It's our blessed adventure. If you are enjoying this video, please give us a thumbs up. Also, continue to watch us as we continue to travel up the Texas coast if you haven't subscribed please push that subscribe button so you can be notified when we post our next video and remember subscribing doesn't cost you a thing and we'd love to hear from you give us a comment share us with your friends and family and like we always say thank you for watching Noel's Blessed Adventures <laughs>